So uh, this is um, the meeting of the Northampton Zoning Board of Appeals. Present from the board are me, David Bloomberg, Sarah Northrup, and Maureen Scanlon, and Carolyn Mish is here from the city of Northampton providing support. And um, notice of this hearing was published July 29 and August 5th. Um, and uh, it's what has been continued um, from August 26th, um, at least with respect to the item of the on the agenda. But before we get to that, um, we I will repeat that uh, I'm formally opening the meeting and the public hearing, and. Um, we do have an update with respect to the one item on the agenda that was continued from uh, August 26th. Before we get to that, I will um, ask um, if there's any member of the public here who would like to address the board on matters unrelated to the one item on the agenda, meaning unrelated to the request for a special permit at 32 Maple Street, Florence. Um, and you know, Carolyn, are we seeing any hands rising to address the board on general matters, not on the 32 Maple Street matter? No, I don't. Okay, so we'll move on. Actually, I think we just have two sets of minutes to approve. Um, the first one is, um, or Carolyn, could we do the minutes after sure. this other? You could, yeah, I mean, we're at, we're at 6 we're at 6 o'clock, so you can so open the. Yeah. So I think what I'll do is open the hearing on um, the application for a special permit by Jen Polins to expand a pre-existing non-conforming setback further into a side yard at 32 Maple Street, Florence, map ID 23A-139. And um, people may recall that we did not close the public hearing um, at the end of the last uh, meeting. And um, but I think the first order of business is that Carolyn, you have a report to the board on an email that you received from the attorney for the applicant earlier today. Uh, correct. And of course the, the applicant and the applicant's attorney is here as well if they wanted to speak to that, but we did receive correspondence with a request um, from the applicant to have the board vote on a withdrawal without prejudice. So that it's on the table um, for okay. in front of you tonight. Okay. Um, uh, I guess a question in my mind is, is there any, I'm not sure we need any input on, on this. Um, um, yeah. Does that, I guess I can ask if anyone is raising their hand to comment on it, but otherwise I would just ask for a motion from a member of the board on the applicant's request to withdraw the application before us without prejudice. Um, Do I have you heard, Mr. Chairman? Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, normally, I understand that uh, such request is uh, a request that's at the discretion of the board, but normally the applicant would at least give some semblance of a grounds uh, to be treated with discretion and not abide by the normal rule, you know, of two years before they come back. Um, and because I believe the statute simply doesn't work, it's not like I've done these before where I had to open up a case within two years. And then I said, oh, I'll, I'll put in more drainage or I'll, I'll do, you know, some more arborvitae, I'll, you know, I'll do things like that. But here the statute just doesn't seem to work. So I don't see you know, you know, brother council can speak. I just don't see the grounds for uh, not waiting two years before they try again. Um, I'll give attorney Lester an opportunity to respond. And then I think we'll go ahead with, uh, uh, with a decision on the motion. Sure, there, there was a question about whether the applicability of this. And so we thought in the interests of all the parties involved, we simply withdraw it at this point in time usually granted as a matter of discretion of the board. I've never seen it denied. I guess this could be the first time, but yeah. um, it be granted. Yeah. Okay. So um, Carolyn, do we, um, 
I'm, do we close the public hearing? Or do we just, I guess we just vote on the motion to withdraw, correct? Um, no, you should do a motion to close the public hearing okay. and then okay, so a do, decision. Do, do we have a motion to close the public hearing? I move that we close the public hearing. Second. That's Maureen who's muted. Maureen. I'll second that. Okay, and a roll call, uh, please, Carolyn, on the motion uh, to close the public hearing. Sarah Northup. Yes. Uh, Maureen Scanlon. Yes. And David Bloomberg. Yes. And now do we have a motion? So that's unanimous. Uh, the public hearing is closed. Do we have a motion on the request of the applicant to withdraw the application without prejudice? Do we have a motion? I will move to okay. accept the request. Do we have a second? We'll withdraw it. Second. And a roll call, please. Uh, Sarah Northup. Yes. Maureen Scanlon. Yes. David Bloomberg. Yes. So the uh, request is granted to withdraw the application without prejudice. Um, we do have some minutes um, while we're here um, that we can, um, I think, just approve quickly. Um, the ones I'm looking at are from, uh, where'd they go? September 9th and August 26th. Uh, just a okay. moment, let me catch up with them. September 9th. That was um, 129 Riverbank Road application for. Um, I have no comment on that. I was not present. Oh, right. Um, for September. I, I, have no, I have no comments or concerns or changes. So I guess, uh, yeah, well, maybe we can do them together. So why don't we also look at. Um, August 26. I have a uh, request for a, what I think is a correction to August 26. Mm -hmm. Page two of those minutes. Um, give, uh, I'm sorry, give me a moment. Um, third paragraph from the bottom, uh, which begins with and this is uh, the 32 Maple Street uh, agenda item. Through screen shares of the plans, he detailed the existing non-conforming setbacks. I believe it's singular setback of the single family home. Yeah, that's, that seems correct, it seems right. <clears throat> I'd like that corrected. And otherwise I'm, um, uh, in approval of both sets of minutes, both meetings minutes. I move um, that we, uh, oh, uh, excuse, excuse me, I have one more, I think, correction. Um, and that is um, on page one, two, three, um, from the top of the page, one, two, three, fourth paragraph, uh, it says John McLaughlin representing Catherine Robinson of Butter at 38 Maple Street argue that the finding standard is not allowed because it says there is no non-conforming structure. Therefore, the board cannot review the project. I think it's more accurate to say is not allowed because this was attorney McLaughlin's argument because the non-conforming structure was not the structure whose use was being altered. I'm not sure it matters since the application has been withdrawn, but, but I don't think what he said was that there is no non-conforming structure. I think everybody acknowledges mm -hmm. the house in front was non-conforming. Does that make sense? Yes, did thank you. you. Did, Carolyn, did you get that? Yep. Okay. So with those changes, uh, do we have a motion just to uh, approve the, the minutes from August 26th and September 9th? David, how are you suggesting we reword that? Um, 
because the unit in the standard uh, is not question? allowed because the, the unit the, in question is not a non-conforming structure. Yeah, the structure which is the the subject of the alteration is not the non-conforming structure. Okay, I, I th th thank you. Yep. So with those two edits, I would move that we approve the minutes for this meeting and the, what was the other one, the September 9th meeting? Correct. Second. Okay, and just a roll call, please. Uh, Sarah Northrup? Yes. Maureen Scanlon? Yes. And David Boomer? Yes, that's unanimous. Um, and I think we are now ready, I think, to for just a motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. Oh, I move that we adjourn. Okay, a second. I'll second. And a roll call, please. Uh, Sarah Northrup? Yes. Uh, Maureen Scanlon? Yes. And David Bloomberg? Yes, that's unanimous. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Right.